Okay, it's our second uh, sunny day here on Anglesey, and um, we're just going to have a little tour around. Loved the beach yesterday where we were at, but we thought we'd just try and find somewhere else. Uh, it's not as warm yet, but who knows? It's still nice, nice blue skies up there. So come up, come along for the ride. Well, so. Sounds like she had right horrible people in there once then. It's a bit guilty leaving them two days. I do myself. I bet you could have done with a second one, couldn't you? So, yeah, we're heading towards Triada Bay. We're going to find a little cove, have a look around there. Um, it's still incredibly warm, but we just haven't got that strong sunshine. It's 26 degrees. Uh, and it's just half ten in the morning. There's that funnel thing. That must be Wilford Power Station, it's isn't not, it? It's not. The bus is not north of it. Must be some sort of... Um, We're coming into Valley now, anyway. There's two power stations in yes, Wilford, and there's a, a remote part of Wilford to be the park around. Well, that's there. They're just decommissioning both of them. Are they? Which way am I going? Straight on. Yeah, they're going to be closed in the next two years. Which is a massive impact to the... Um... Yeah. This is where we got that awful Indian kelp. The one we had to throw in the bin. Fish and chips from here tomorrow night would be alright though, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah, that'd do it. Right. Look at the old police station there. Any? Can have fine foods. Anglesey fine. Dry aged steak, wine, beer. How? Oh. Look at that knife, is that? Oh, we've got a, we've got, we've got the main train from London coming in now. Oh well. Just waiting for the train to go. The Hollyhead to. London Euston. I think it's four hours, 15 minutes, but well, I could be wrong. If you're thinking of coming up from London and don't fancy the drive, because it is a long drive, well over five hours. No, I think that's the local one, because it's small. I'll take you into Bangor. Well, we're just coming into Triada Bay with uh, Hollyhead Mountain in the distance. Now we're gonna go straight on here. This is one of the most popular beaches on the island. Parking in there. Just go over the dunes and we've got a nice bay. But there's not a lot here, I'll be honest with you. A couple, two or three restaurants, that's about it. Very much a um, home, second home sort of place for the wealthy. I think yeah, What, what the? Is that a lamp? Yeah. Stone lamp and a stone dog and a stone egg. Takes all sorts of rows. Look quite impressive. Well, I don't think I'd want it. Yeah, this is Triada Bay everyone. Sun glistening. Little inlets, 
going down this coast road. It's a stunning, stunning drive. Sandy Beach. I suppose we could park here if we wanted to. The farmer's losing it. With its lesson. It's a bit busy, isn't it? Carry on anyway. I think there's one more. Oh no, there isn't. No. That was the one. We're going inland now. Like a little well pulled down. Yeah, that's where the water's rushing through that way. Beautiful. The wind, but we're here in Ross Niger. Osnaga Beach. We just thought we'd check it out, the broad beach here, just off the town. Dog worried about its owner on the rocks. We came down here uh, on Monday only to find that the cider shop was shut. This is a um, farmhouse that's selling cider, a bit off the beaten track, just outside the town of Aberfrau. So we're hoping they've got a little bar as well because we've been on the beach for the last three hours and we're absolutely parched for uh, a drink. Jerry's cider, I think it was, Cam. Oh, Jaspers, Jaspers, that was it. Here we go. No, Jaspel's Anglesey Craft Cider. So, have you been? Has anyone been down here? Do they rate it? What a place to get to. Luckily, Kelly is driving. She can have a half, can't you, Kelly? I don't know if I can do that. I'm still bloody. Last night. <laughs> oh, there's a good little crowd here. So, we'll park up and see what they got.
Yeah. Yeah. Just do that. This is, has the sediment in the bottom, so it's proper cider. Half an hour pint, please. Yeah, so we just ordered 12 bottles. Brilliant. How much two glasses? The large ones, pints of six, the hardest of four. Oh. Let's see where we're at with this. That's two local Anglesey ciders. <laughs> Would you prefer a card? Just outside Aberfrow, isn't it? Yeah. Just trying the local cider from the island. The lead stuck round the back leg. <laughs> Lovely little bar to stop off at. And uh, the cider, absolutely first class all local a uh, little bit is on the mainland but there's about 20 different uh, orchards that they use on the island and uh, we've got an old farm building up here the background and um, the stunning village ancient village of Aberfrau in the background so all day long come up here for a drink up here just outside Aberfrau as I say it's very pleasant uh, the views are absolutely out of this world. Whether it picks those distant mountains up, I don't know. But we've gone and bought a case. Come, on me some glasses. Mm -hmm. So I definitely recommend it. Yeah, nice little stop. Definitely, yeah. It's a nice little stop, and you can see right into Aberfrau Village, which is over there in the estuary. So, uh, nice place to have a drink. Over yonder, Aberfrau, uh, the ancient capital of of Wales, and also the burial or the scattering of the ashes of my dear mother. So um, this gets a double thumbs up. Well done, Mum. Well, I've been looking forward to this all summer. We're going to catch twenty two uh, over in Valley, and uh, we're checking out the the restaurant. Cheers everyone. Cheers. Cheers. We're going to lift here tonight. Look at that, somebody's pitched the sea. <laughs> right. Right, let's check this out then. So, we actually tried again in here in, um, when we brought Harry. And uh, it was in the May. And we couldn't get it. Love and money. And we ended up going to the Oyster Catcher. And it was a terrible you want experience. But, uh, so we'll check this menu out. I'm fine, yeah. It's because it's got that supportive bit. That's yeah. Fine. That's a special for Fishing chips. Chips They've got lobster here, too. I fancy on there, the, to start with, um, smoked mac mackerel patty. Yeah, but you haven't looked at the, the specials, have you? Oh, that looks a beautiful pint, that. Nice pint of local beer there. And good health. That is nice. Nice pint, isn't it? A lovely head on it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
It's so nice. It's smell nice anyway. And I went for the mackerel pate and it's come with um I don't know what this is actually. No. Oh it's applesauce. Unusual to go with the uh, mackerel. But we'll give it a go. Oh my god. Oh. Now that's that's what I would have had if it can it allow me. Oh yeah, let's try some of them. Oh, By the gone. way, uh, the star of the, is this beetroot ketchup. It's absolutely superb. Like, I, I, I don't know that woman over there. I didn't complain, I just said to take it. Oh, it, was, it wasn't edible. Rubbish. But uh, you're becoming a bit of a connoisseur on sticky toffee puddings, aren't you, Kel? And where does that one rank? Up oh, with the red fox? Number one? No, the um, Turkish barbecue number one. Is it really? Don't say that tune, I'll be uh, doing cartwheels down Brombra High Street. So, and there goes the complainers. Da, 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 da. Is he just quiet? Oh, poor oh, fella. Well, the notice reads the staff have worked so hard they're giving them an extra day off on September the 15th. So, I just think that's superb. And unfortunately, after two amazing days' weather, we've got a bit of rain on the floor. So, is it raining heavy? Yeah. Well, it doesn't look so. 